Hi and welcome, my name is Lawrence Baker and this video is going to be about creating a fire in Photoshop using two things, filter, render, flame, which requires a path, and also for the smoke we're going to download some brushes from the internet. So let's turn off that fire layer, command zero to fit back on screen. We need to create a new layer, shift, command and control N, we're going to call this fire, go OK. Z or Z on my keyboard to zoom into this area here by dragging from top left to bottom right. There's three pen tools now. I'll show them to you. The ordinary pen tool, the free form pen tool, or the curvature pen tool. The curvature one I believe is best. Just click on that, then click down, click down, click down. And do that across those three eaves and you've got your path. Now, if you don't like it being too far away from the edge, let's say, click down once and just drag it out like so. So now, filter, render, flame, will bring up the flame dialog box or workspace. It is very complex. I don't want to dwell too much here. All you have to do is go to default, randomize the length, up the length a little bit, 110 is good enough for me. This is very graphics processor intensive. Go to advance. I'm probably going to change it to violent for the flame style. Back to basic and up the quality to fine, which will take a long time to render on screen. I like the highest quality because I think it looks the best, obviously. Not bad, not bad. We need to lose the path. Path selection tool. Backspace, we've lost it. Command and control zero to fit on screen. New layer, shift, command and control N, call it smoke. Go OK. Go to your favorite internet browser, Google Chrome for me. Whilst I'm here, Julianne Cost is an Adobe evangelist and she's the only person I've seen write down information about this flame generation. So if you want to read about that, I'll have a link down below. New tab. Smoke, brush, Photoshop, or whatever. Brush Easy, big site for brushes. Click on it. Try and find a smoke brush that doesn't look like cigarette smoke. So Smoke 6 looks pretty good, let's say. These are premium ones you have to pay for. Click on it. Download. You might get this show up. Just close it down and click it again. A few adverts for a couple of seconds. It will download as a zip file and my system will decompress my zip files. There you go, it's expanding it. Okay. Finder or Explorer, find where you've downloaded it. Smokebrushes.abr for Adobe Brush, just double click on it. And it will load it up in Photoshop. Go to the brush tool, be on your keyboard, make sure you're on that brush tool there. Under brushes, you'll see down the bottom the free smoke brushes you just downloaded. Untwirl it or expand it. Pick the first one. Don't get too fussy. Now you can see it's absolutely huge, 4,230 pixels. So I click there to bring it down a bit. And you can see it there. We need to make it larger. Right hand square bracket key. Make sure your default colors are black and white. So D on your keyboard. Make sure the opacity of the brush is at 100 initially. If you press a number on your keyboard like zero, it'll turn it into 100, seven for 70, and shift and a number, like shift and five for flow 50%, so shift and zero for 100%. So 100% opacity and 100% flow, and we're on black. Click down once, that's our first plume of smoke. Now to randomize things, pick another brush, make it a bit smaller here, Right hand square bracket key to make it a bit larger. I'll probably put that one there actually. That's pretty good. Quite large, who cares? Third one, bring it down in size a bit. Bring it up in size with the right hand square bracket key. I might flip that one actually. And you could just come to the brush settings and flip it on its X axis. So it's pointing that way. So I'll put that one quite deep down into there as well. Brushes, pick another brush. 
You can roughly see what they look like on the left hand side here, but it is difficult. So it's far too large. Click there to bring it down a bit. Right hand square bracket key, make it a bit larger. And I'm probably going to put that one like that there. You need to obscure those flames a little bit because they don't look absolutely perfect. So you need to work on that area and try and make sure that the flames are not too much to the fore. Another brush there. Let's bring that down in size. Bring it up in size with the right hand square bracket key. And I'm probably going to click just down on there. Now I'm going to make this a bit smaller now. In fact, I'm going to come right down with it. And I'm probably just going to click around in these areas here to break the flames up a little bit, just a little bit here and there. Now you can use the opacity to obviously control things or the flow. I would say opacity is better. You can change the color. Be careful of changing the color. It can make it look unrealistic. So I prefer to use opacity. So what I'm going to do now is pick a brush that I quite like down here. It's a double plume one here. I'm going to bring it down in size and have a look at it. And what I'm going to do in brush settings is change the angle by dragging down on that arrow there and have a look at it again. And I think it's what I'm after because I want it to come across into that building there, so to speak. So probably, I'm just trying to get this right, about there. Now I'm going to change the opacity of this brush to something like 50%. So I press, press 5 on my keyboard there and then 20 for here. And just put a few more around there just to make it look a bit more realistic. Every time you do this, it's going to look different anyway. I might pick another brush yet again. Maybe that one there. Let's see what that looks like. Bring down the size a bit. Click there. Bring it up in size. I'm probably going to put that there on 100%, zero on my keyboard, just to make it very dense there as well and probably just around there and there and there and there just to hide some of those flames a bit more. I think that's it guys. Um, I probably could possibly put a bit more smoke in this area here. I'm going to put that there and probably put it on 40 for my keyboard. Still getting larger. That'll do down there. Just a bit around there as well. Just to give it some depth and a bit there. That's it guys. That's as much as you have to do. Very straightforward. Hope you got something from this. Thank you very much.